I have well, that says my moves. <laughs> I, I asked parents if, if you looked uh, sore to yeah. seeing the same opponent uh, three times in five years, or yeah. if you'd rather see a different opponent. And he said, Do I look forward to playing as Luca? Probably not. Well, how, how do you do that? Do you, do you look forward to playing the same, same opponent? Is there anything? I mean, like that? there's no easy matchups in the playoffs, especially in the West. Like, you know, it's just who we got, and you know, there's no, oh, we should have, you know. Did this or did that? We should have played these guys. We're playing Dallas Mavericks. Got to get ready for them. I think everyone's excited. Everyone, we cannot wait for uh, for Sunday for the game to start. You know, to to kind of start this thing, and that's it. Everyone's excited. Last time there was a lot of wonky stuff going on with Kristaps, Boban, you and everything. Like, do you anticipate this being a, a, a much different um, series from what we saw in the past, given all the different personnel changes? I think so. Yeah, we. They got a bunch of new players, we got a bunch of new players. And it's going to be a different series. I think both teams play a little different than, than before. So I think, I think it's going to be different than the last two times. How do you anticipate Dame Gaffer specifically um, changing how this series goes? Like how, do, how do you think that that helps you stay on the court potentially compared to three years ago? I mean, uh, they used to play small way, way more than uh, they knew, do now. So. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a guy who I can match up with very well, and uh, that's about it. I mean, they, they got two bigs, good bigs that uh, play, play a lot, and uh, I expect uh, we're not going to be able to go small as much that, you know, I'll be able to uh, get more work this time around. Why do you think he, Gaffer in particular, has had so much success we would compare to all the other centers that he's played, even Chris James. Uh, I think his his role is more specified. You know, he is a rim runner, roller, offensive rebounder, protect the rim, grab rebounds. His his role is pretty you know pretty simple from that point. And having a guy like Luca, one of the best point guards in the league, is. It's only going to make things easier. So I think they, they complement each other uh, very well. He's a lot lot target. Luke is a guy who can pass the ball really well. So I think that's a that's a really good fit over there. And, and Zoo, with those two guys, Gafford and, and Lively, it seems like when you played this Mavs team before, that with Luca, Kyrie come off a ball screen, you guys trying to funnel. Now with the two bigs and a lob threat, does that mm -hmm. change your defensive philosophy? It and does a little you bit. Play? You know, those two guys are really good rollers, they get behind the defense, so you can't really, you know, can't stay in covers too much. You can't, guards gotta get, do a better job getting around uh, Luca. you know, he, he likes to keep the guys on his back, kind of on his back, coming off the pick and roll, so it's just about, uh, you know, we gotta, we gotta do a better job getting into the ball to, before the screen, getting through screens and getting back in front of Luca. And I gotta be, I gotta be really good with not letting a uh, role get behind me. And uh, that's something they do well, and uh, that's something we know. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna be locked in for that. And is that on all five guys, all five guys on the court's uh, communication? Everybody has to be on one court. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it's gonna happen. So at some point, you know, sometimes they're gonna get behind us. Low man gotta be in. It's all five guys. We gotta recognize. We got to see what's going on, how how we are playing it, if they're able to get behind or or not. So all five guys got to be on the string. Everyone got to be, you know, kind of play like together and uh, cover for each other. Zoo, so, uh, defensively, you guys have been up and down at times this year. Kind of where do you where do you think the defense is at right now? Uh, I think we finished the season uh, well from a, from a, you know defensive standpoint. We had some like that first half and uh, against Cleveland was not. It's not really good, and uh, we we'll play after that. Play Phoenix, you know that second, third quarter kind of uh, was not was not good, but uh, I would say we're we're pretty good uh, ever since we adjusted to that drop. I think it helped a little bit, and uh, guys know their roles. We know what we got to do, do, and I expect guys to do it even better. Uh, you know, much with much much more effort and uh, stuff in the playoffs. So there were times last month even where Paul and James talked about your you guys identity. Yeah. Have you guys found your identity and what is it? 
I don't know. You should ask those guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, we I will ask them as soon as they come out. You know, I think, <laughs> I think we got one, but uh, you know, at that time we weren't playing like a team we won. So I think we're a defensive team, team that uh, plays really good half court defense that can. <clears throat> That can lock lock other teams up. That can, uh, you know, we can pick the matchups well on an uh, offensive end too. We can uh, kind of find a guy that they're trying to hide and uh, attack him. We're I think we're really good, uh, you know, finding a mismatch defensive team and uh, that can adjust to everything. So, Z, I remember your first playoff series versus Golden State was a big like motivation for yeah. you, just kind of moving forward and yeah. um, getting better from that. You took a big leap from from then to your next series. Do you feel like you've taken even more leaps from your last couple of playoff series to where you're at now? I think so. I think uh, this year I was able to play against the teams that play more and smaller more. I was able to punish the smaller more on the, <clears throat> on the offensive end, and I was able to. I think uh, with all the experience. Uh, I kind of uh, got better with uh, on the defensive end, communicating that uh, you know those late switches, those rotations so, uh, against the popping bigs, or uh, you know if I'm guarding a smaller guy. And I think that was a big thing. That's a big thing when you're playing against small ball uh, unit or a team that have, has a stretch big. It's uh, just you gotta understand the uh, defensive rotations uh, very well, and you gotta. You got to be able to commu communicate it before it happens, and then on the offensive end, I think I made a big step into just uh, you know when they put a small on me or they switch someone smaller on me, just duck in and punishing that switch. Right, Considering the fact that you had a couple of series against this team and against Luca, like from a mental standpoint, are you, you like acknowledge the fact that you know this guy's going to have 40 point big nights, big quarters, like, and you're able to just mentally. You know, move on, next play mentality every time. Is it easier now that you've had a couple of series, like you've played twenty some games against them? Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not easy just, you know, watching a guy score that much and stuff like that, but he's a he's an incredible player, you know. He's gonna he's gonna get his most of the time. We just we gotta make it tough. We gotta make it uh really tough for him. Uh wear him down on both ends and uh you know, just Next play mentality. We're they're gonna make shots. They're gonna make plays, and we just gotta know. We get, we gotta stay locked in into what we're trying to do defensively, of what what we're willing to give up, and uh, execute our stuff offensively. And uh, I think we should be good. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Let's get ready for hoop jab.